having a fantastic day today. We're back with another video on the Mustang. And this one's gonna be a little bit different for you guys. So, just starting off, this video is gonna be on how I got three tickets in one month. I know you guys are probably wondering how or why or what in the world did I do to get three tickets in one month? Is it a speeding ticket or something like that? Well, no, it's not a speeding ticket. As you guys know, my car is heavily tinted. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but when you lower down the windows, it lets a lot of sun in, even though there's not a lot of sun out now. But um, this isn't clickbait. I got all three tickets right here. And I might as well just tell you guys right now. Uh, I got one ticket because it turned my, uh, my birthday was on the 4th and they pulled me over on the 7th. I was out of town actually on my birthday. So when I, as soon as I got home, I was going to re-register my license. And on the way to register my license, this, um, this GMC truck pulled up next to me and he was revving it. He was trying to make me race him and everything and I wasn't going to do it. I just had a bad feeling so I didn't. So then we pulled up to a stop sign and as soon as we pulled up to a stop sign, he gave it a little bit of gas and I was shifting into second gear. I did a small second gear pull and right after that, that guy was gone. He just kept on going and uh, I wasn't going to chase after him or nothing like that. So I just I just let off and right as soon as I let off, my buddy, my buddy texted me and he said, Hey bro, there's a cop going about a quarter mile away from me. I saw him flying down the street behind you. So I let off the gas, of course, and started going the speed limit again. I didn't, I didn't even, I went like maybe 10 over the speed limit at the time. So the cop turns on his lights behind me, so I'm like, shit. Uh, I, I start braking. I was gonna turn right, and the cop passed me. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, he's gonna go get him because that dude's still speeding. So I'm like, I'm let off the hook. No, that's not, that wasn't the case. The guy was probably maybe four or five blocks down, but it's a long, it's a long straight. So there was no way I was getting out of it. I kept on going. He had that guy pull over and I pulled over with him. Well, as I was approaching the cop after he already pulled over the guy, he stopped in the middle of the road and was telling me like sticking his hand out of the window for me to pull over too. It was either I pull over or I turn right and I try to lose a cop and get a baiting arrest ticket or something like that. So I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. So I pulled over and two more squad cars pull up and I got kind of nervous. They pulled over this truck. They went up to him first. They told me to turn off my vehicle. But before that, he, I already had my license ready. I had it sticking out the window and he literally grabbed my license out of my hand and was like, that was stupid, huh? And I just looked at him like, all right, whatever. So they go up to that guy. They start talking to him and everything. And one thing leads to another. These uh three cops go up to his truck they uh, open his doors they get him out and they start arresting him and as you guys can as you guys uh, may assume I, I started tripping I was like I don't know what's going on am I gonna get arrested for reckless driving or racing or whatever it is you know what I mean I mean I didn't know that you could be arrested for reckless driving it wasn't I wasn't going over the speed limit so maybe it was street racing like a ton ton of things were going through my mind and I didn't know I didn't know what was going on I didn't know what was about to happen. So they arrest that guy and I'm just, I'm sitting in here shaking, shaking in my boots and I don't know what's gonna go on. Then the cops finally come up to my window and they tell me, uh, did you know you could be, uh, did you know you could be arrested for street, for street racing? I was like, no sir, I honestly didn't know. And uh, he was like, have you ever been arrested for street racing? And I was like, no. He said, have you ever been to jail? No. So. Uh, the cops like I could take you to jail right now, but I'm not gonna do that. The reason why we're taking this guy to jail is because he has a warrant. And of course, I was it was a I wiped the sweat off my forehead. I was like, wow, okay, I'll be right back with your ticket. So I thought I was gonna get a reckless driving ticket, something like that. He told me it was reckless driving. He comes back and I said, am I gonna be? Uh, and he said, did you know your license expired? And I said, yes, sir. I was on the way to uh, I was on the way to renew it right now. And he was just like, all right, here's your, here's your ticket. Drive safe. He gave me a ticket and I was like, am I gonna be cited for the driver's license ticket? And he said yes. So I thought I was gonna have two tickets, reckless driving and expired license. Long story short, long story short, I drove off, I signed the ticket, I didn't say anything. I didn't even read the ticket. I signed it, drove off. While I was driving, I looked at the ticket. And this one right here, expired license ticket, that's all it says. So I was like, okay, I'm good. Expired license is way better than reckless driving. I won't get any points on my license, nothing like that. So I, so I just take it. I go renew my license. 
Um, I go to the courthouse. Long story short, I got the ticket drop for twenty dollars. Well, next day, day right after that, I literally got pulled over. Two motorcycle cops waiting for me. I rolled down my windows as fast as I could. They they were already too close. They were too close. They saw me. So I rolled down my windows real quick. The cops pull up. Hey, can you roll your windows up? He puts a little suction cup on my window. He starts to see how dark the tint is on my, on my, on my car. He literally read it and he said, do you know the tint's illegal on this car? And I was like, uh, no sir, I bought the tint like this. I bought the car like this. And unfortunately I didn't. I put the tint on there. I know it was illegal. So he was like, it's reading 2%, son. You know the legal limit? I was like, no. He said, it's 25%. I'll be right back with your ticket. So I'm sitting in my car pissed off. Like, wow, I just got a ticket yesterday. And now I got a ticket today. Not knowing I was gonna be able to get them dropped yet. I didn't, I wasn't able to get the ticket dropped in one day. I had to wait, I had to wait a couple weeks. So, I got a ticket, I got two tickets in two days. Come to find out, I take a little road trip out to Frio County, maybe like 400 miles away from me. And I know that there's DPS bad over there. So I'm rolling around with my windows down and everything. This just happened. <sighs> I passed this DPS, I already had my windows down. I was looking in my rearview mirror, never saw anything. Never saw him turn out, nothing like that. I pull over to this little shop. I was gonna buy some stuff before I took off out of Frio County for the weekend. I, I turned off my car, I was getting out, and I got bone rushed by a DPS, and he literally, Department of Public, Public and Safety. So I opened my door and he told me, sir, can you sit back in your car? I was like, whoa, like I didn't even, like I didn't see that he was coming. Of course, my door was open, my window was already rolled up, and he was like, damn it, son, I can't even see through your window. He's like, do you know it's illegal? I was like, yes, sir, I actually just got a ticket on it. And uh, he was telling me, why haven't you taken it off yet? I was like, I haven't been to court for it yet. Um, the judge told me that she was going to be able to tell me yes or no. If I was going to be able to get it dropped, if I was going to get it dropped, I was going to get the ticket. I was going to get the tent took off. He was like, well, why are you waiting until the court date if you know it's illegal? I was like, um, I just haven't got a chance to tear off the tent. And then he walked to the front of my car and he said, son, it's very illegal and it's very dangerous to have a windshield tent all the way across your car. He's like, I don't even know how you see out of that. And he's like, you're not getting sunburned in this car, are you? Like, just being sarcastic, I don't know. So I was like, no, whatever. He's like, all right, well, unfortunately, I don't have a I don't have a meter for the side window, so I'm just going to ticket you on the windshield. So I was like, all right, whatever. The first cop that ticketed me for the side windows, he, uh, he didn't notice that my windshield was tinted, so I got let off for that. So this guy, entire windshield tinted. And then he put side windows 5% visibility, but it's all one violation. So I don't know how, I don't know how he could ticket me for the side windows if he didn't have a gauge to monitor it. But yeah, I got three tickets and one month inside my Mustang. You guys are probably also wondering, well, if you knew that the tent was illegal, then why did you get it? Well, the cops don't really care around where I live. Like all of my buddies, they all have limo tent. They have limo tent all the way around. Some of my buddies even have limo tent on the front windshield. Like, that is crazy. Like, you can't see out at night with limo tent on your windshield, and they still don't get pulled over. So, my buddies had it on there for a couple months. A couple of my other buddies have had it on there for a couple months, and I'm like, all right, well, the cops don't really do anything about that. But I do travel time to time, and uh, other little cities, they are bad about it. So, that's the reason why I went ahead and just got it illegal. Like, I didn't think it mattered that much. But uh, my old vehicle before this, if you guys didn't know, I had a Jeep. But... My Jeep uh, had a legal tent on it also, but I got a tent on the way out of town headed to headed towards Houston. So that's the main reason why I got it illegal. I didn't think it was a really big deal. I didn't think that I was going to get caught for it. So I'm not here crying about getting a ticket because I knew it was illegal. I knew that eventually it was going to happen. And the ticket's not too expensive. It's like $120, $180, something like that. So I don't really think it was that big of a deal. So I'm just going to get the tent off get the tent ripped off and try to get the ticket dropped so it's not really a big deal if you guys have been following the channel for a little while you guys have known I've been having trouble with the AC and everything well I went ahead and I got the I got the AC compressor replaced and it worked for a good three days and the front of the hub busted off and threw oil all over my engine so I literally went to AutoZone and I was like, I want to know why that this compressor only lasted three days and then threw oil all over my motor and then the, he said it might, might have just been a defective unit, whatever. So long story short, I took it back. I had to pay extra labor. I uh, put a new compressor in and now it's blowing super cold. I'm, it's been blowing cold for a couple weeks now. No problems at all. 
So I guess it was just the compressor all along. I, I've been refilling it just because it was leaking out of the front of the hub. So I put a new compressor in it. Uh, the compressor ran me like $200. So now the compressor's running great. So long story short, guys, I got three tickets, all for my tent. One of them was expired license. I got the expired license ticket dropped. The one for my side windows, the one that I got put over right, right after that, uh, I'm still trying to fight it. I want to see if I can get the tent taken off or maybe get a receipt written so the cops can, so the, so the judge can take it, uh, take the charge off and I only pay a little dismissal fee of $20 or something like that. Um, as far as the Frio County goes, 400 miles away, I might have to drive all the way back there to go talk to a judge or something like that. I don't know what's going on and I actually think I'm going to take the windshield tent off because it's just, it's too much already, man. I, I already told myself if I got pulled over more than twice and I was just going to tear it off like it's, it's too much like I don't really want to be paying tickets over and over again for something I really don't need it's re it's really nice to have privacy and for it to be cool in here but it's just too much of a hassle that cops keep pulling me over and everything I really don't see the big deal of uh, having tin on your car I really don't see why that ev even is a law the cops are out here to protect the community and everything and they're worried about film on car windows and I don't get that if you're able to see out I'm able to see out at night it's a little hard through the back because it's, it's limo back here, but through the windshield, it's literally not a big deal at all. Um, I really don't see the, I don't really don't see the problem with the film, the film uh, law. It, it literally mind boggles me. I don't know why cops are so worried about it. I haven't got a speeding ticket in this car. I haven't got any traffic violation tickets in this car. Nothing except for tent. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, and uh, keep up with the build, man. Uh, if you guys want to follow my car page on Instagram, it's going to be 4.6chris361. I update it uh, daily. So if you guys want to see daily updates on my car, what I'm doing, pictures of the car, anything like that, you're going to want to uh, follow the Instagram page. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time. Peace. Cause it's worse.